Man, does that sound good. It's so good. That's Will Lee on the, it sounds on the so vocal nice. line. On the top line. Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest is an Academy Award uh, winning uh, actor. He's starring in a new film entitled Thanks for Sharing. It opens September 20th. Here he is, Tim Robbins. Tim, come on out. I haven't seen you in a long time. You look, you look wonderful. Thank what, you. Have you been on vacation? Uh, um, well, uh, no, I've been uh, living in California and uh, take, taking bike rides every day. Wow. Well, I must say that uh, uh, I, know, I know you're a movie actor and you win awards and you make films and stuff, but I, I always kind of thought of you as a guy who uh, lived, uh, brought up in New York, but you're living in California now. Yes, I, I moved there about four years ago. Um, I miss New York, but I, I have a theater company out in, in L.A. that I work with, and I'm able to work with them more and uh, have a nice little house with a garden and... I'm kind of uh, taking it a little easier than I used to take it when I was just living in New York. Yeah, but you seem like a guy who doesn't like taking it easy. You seem like a guy <laughs> always ready, always ready to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I am always ready to go. Uh, that's what I thought. Now, where do, where do you live in California? I don't want a street address. But uh, where do you... On the west side. On the west on side? On the west side, That's yes. close to the uh, Pacific? To the ocean, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, <laughs> you, uh, one of the many regrets I have about my uh, time in California was I, I never learned to surf. Do you, do you know how to surf? I have tried. I'm a tall guy, so it's, uh, my, you know, it's difficult when mm -hmm. you're a little taller. Um, but I have gotten up a few times and, and gotten the rush of that yeah. wave thing. Yeah, Pe <laughs> people who do it claim that it really is uh, life-altering if you, if you can commit to it. The, the it's thrill. amazing, yeah. actually, yeah. I, I, I had a little help. I had someone push it off a little bit, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd leave that part of the story out. Yeah, I should have. Uh, but now, um, I, and, I, I'm a real good surfer, Dave. But <laughs> go out every morning, and a guy pushes you off. Yeah. <laughs> but um, now, I know you. Years ago, you were always nice enough. You say, oh, you know, we have an ice rink in our backyard. You should come over and play hockey, and we play hockey, and you come over and we'll play hockey. And I thought, that's very generous of you, but I know I would go over there and, and I would break my ankle. <laughs> so I, I never yeah. did, because you really know how to play hockey. Yes. Uh, I guess I, I play out in, in L.A. Now, I find that unfathomable. I, uh, on ice, you play? Well, I play a roller hockey game. Ro roller hockey. Yeah, uh, every weekend uh, on, the, on the beach, uh, in, the, in a parking lot off the beach. And uh, it's a good game, great guys. Uh, sometimes it gets a little ornery. I missed the Sunday game. Apparently there was a couple of fights that fights. broke out. And I was uh, happy to Is that to common with your group? No, no, I haven't seen it. Uh, it was just, I guess it was a, a combination of uh, a Saturday night hangover or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That, uh, you know, people got a little uh, nasty and started to fight. Now, when you play uh, roller hockey, how, how big is the surface? Can it be any size, really? It's about the size of a rink, uh, a hockey league, mm -hmm. a National Hockey League rink. And, and you have uh, five on five, two goalies? It's four that? on four. Four on four. No goalies. You shoot into, uh, uh, like, a little tin can. <laughs> uh, and, and you play three periods or just till guys just get tired? Play, play until you drop. Yeah. And w what age are these uh, guys? Anywhere from, uh, there's a 17-year-old that plays and, uh, and, and guys my age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys your age. You know. I know. 40. 40. <laughs> and... And do they, uh, is it, do you get, uh, has anybody called you Grandpa or Pops? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, it, it happened, <laughs> happened to me last year, and it was the first time, and it was a, a guy being snarky to yeah. me, and he said, okay, I'll knock your teeth out, Grandpa. <laughs> so did you, did you take care of him? I, I thought I was going to take care of him, but uh, someone intervened. It was an intern upstairs. <laughs> Oh, you would have snapped me like that. But you know how to take care of yourself, but you got to let the, the kids know that you're, you're out there to break a sweat, too. 
Yeah, well, you get, let's give them a little. Oh, do you? Yeah. And how do they respond to that? Ouch. Yes, they, <laughs> you, you have their respect then. That's good. And, uh, and tell us more about your theater company. This is for, uh, this is fascinating. Uh, I'm not sure that what you're doing, is, it's a good idea, but I'm not sure it's legal. <laughs> tell people what your theater company does. Well, it is legal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're actually a, a company that's been together for 32 years now, a uh, non-profit theater company in Los Angeles called The Actors Gang. Actors Gang. And we have our own uh, creative base in Culver City, but we also do a lot of outreach programs and educational programs in high schools and, and middle school and, and grade school. Uh, we work throughout the city in educational programs, but we also go into prisons. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, work uh, uh, arts and re basically to re rehabilitate uh, inmates. Uh, guys ranging from people in there for possession of pot to murder. And uh, we go in and um, do theater with them. Are, are they responsive to this idea? Is it just an idea of anything to break up the monotony? Or do, do they see it as, as something useful? I mean, what is I, the... I think they take the course for various reasons. Uh, some to break up the monotony, probably more so to, to because they've heard the reputation of it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's we've been doing it for seven years now. And uh, what it, it helps them do is gives them the, the tools when they're outside to deal with uh, confrontational uh, situations. Uh, by, by doing improvisations, we encourage them to respond to proposals of anger with different emotions other than anger. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is they wind up expressing some emotions that they're never able to express in prison, like fear, which will get you killed, uh, sadness, which is n not appropriate, and happiness. So they uh, wind up f uh, developing strategies through, the, through this theater work to deal with confrontational uh, situations. They also, uh, nowhere else in the prison uh, is there a program where people go across racial barriers and uh, gang barriers to participate in a room together. And these guys, after this experience, say that their bond in this uh, class is m more profound and more uh, uh, exciting and uh, lasting mm -hmm. than anything they've ever had out in the yard. Now, when, when you started this, did you ever have any idea that the benefits would be that multifaceted? I mean, that's a pretty long list of good things that come out of this. Well, the, 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 the best thing is that as far as we know, in the seven years, all of the men we've worked with, no one has returned to prison. Well, God bless you. This sounds like a terrific thing. It's been really rewarding for me. Let's uh, tell the folks about Thanks for Sharing. I know you are in it. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow is in it. Um, uh, Mr. R Ruff Ruffalo, Ruffalo, yes, Mark Ruffalo, yeah, Mark and Ruffalo. Josh Gad, and, and it's a, it's about uh, uh, people who are addicted to sexual activity. That's right, right. sex addicts. Yeah. Now, I, I was you, you. You tell me what your impression of of that uh, addiction was prior to getting into this film. Prior to getting into this film, I thought that was an excuse you give to your wife when you get caught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have an addiction. It's, it's different than that, is that right? No, it, it is really different than that. I went, uh, was, you know, I, I went to a meeting, was invited by a friend to go to a meeting, and, uh... <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it's a real problem. I, I, I saw those, you know, I sat in and I actually, you know, it's a pretty secret thing and, and I, I, I have to say, uh, I, I had to kind of say that I was, might be in order to get into the meeting, you know, I was, maybe, I was trying to figure out whether I was or not. Mm -hmm. And I felt, I felt, <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, and I felt I felt kind of bad about lying, but that, but I have to say I, I was really impressed by the courage they show to admit their problem, number one, and to and to, to try to deal with it. It is a real problem. There's guys that their entire lives fall apart from this kind of uh, activity. Well, that, that seems to be true of any addiction, really. Doesn't yeah. It? yeah. And the movie is really about all addiction. You know, it's uh, it's it's about uh, three sex addicts, but it's also uh, deals with alcoholism and, and food issues and uh, obsessions. And so it, 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 what I love about the movie is that it's, it's a, a comedy that deals with a very serious issue in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that I think will help people. 
try to find help if, they're, if they aren't currently helping Take themselves. Take a look at the clip here, Tim. What will we see? Uh, this is a scene with um, uh, Patrick Fugit, who plays my son. Uh, and uh, I, he is a, a former addict, and I have issues with him, and he has issues with me, as a lot of Father kids. Father and son issues, all right. Uh, it's thanks for sharing. Uh, let's take a look now. There you go. It's our friend, Tim Robbins, ladies and gentlemen, Gwyneth Paltrow, Mark Ruffalo. Thanks for sharing. You can see it September 20th. Good to see you, and good luck, and thank you very much. Thanks, Tim Dave. Robbins, everybody. We'll be right back.